Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome back to the channel. So this evening, we are going to be taking a minute here to show you step by step how to make homemade tortillas because honestly, homemade tortillas are probably the easiest bread product that you could make like ever. So we're gonna go on ahead and walk you through that. We did discuss homemade tortillas over on our um, Mexican pulled pork video, which I will be linking at the end. So you can see some of our tortilla making there, but this is gonna be a little bit more in depth, like I said, hands-on and step-by-step -step so that you know how to make it for yourself from start to finish. Okay guys, so let's walk you through what you are going to need to make the tortillas. So we have a rolling pin, okay? We also have parchment paper. You could probably use wax paper if you don't have parchment paper on hand. We are using a cup of room temperature water. Some recipes call for it to be warm water, but I guess that depends upon how warm you keep your home. So if you like to keep your house at 65, you may want to warm up your water slightly. We have salt. And then of course we have some white corn masa, gluten-free here, that we are going to be doing a cup's worth of. So for the most part, it is equal parts water to masa flour. And that kind of will vary a little bit just depending upon your humidity or lack of. So it should feel like Play-Doh. Yeah, it should feel like Play-Doh. And when you go to roll it out in the rolling pin between the parchment paper layers, it should not be cracking around the edges. You should be able to at least keep a semi-smooth edge. Okay. So there's our one cup. We're going to do about a teaspoon of salt here. We measure it in our palms. That's not necessary to be 100% accurate. It's just for flavor. And leave it out. Yeah, if you don't use salt, leave it out. And this is pretty much all done by hand. So if you've got a kid that loves to get their hands in bread dough or cookie dough of any sort, this might be the recipe for them to be playing with. Still crumbly, so we're adding more water in. You can see at this point we're getting more of a ball, but it's still slightly dry. Okay, we're going to test it. And as you can see, it is holding together like Play-Doh. Add just a little Yeah, it needs more. just a little bit. You saw that there was some cracking on the edges. So just a bare dribble more. So obviously we've not used the full cup yet. It's gonna end up being for this batch about three quarters of a cup. Yeah, and that's gonna be because we had some humidity going on just from all the rain. So if you're in a drier climate, you may need the full cup. You may need a little bit more than a full cup. It just kind of depends upon what's going on. Could be your house too. Could be the flour. Yep, yeah, and it could be the flour. Okay, so grand total, not including me explaining to you the process here. It took us maybe about three minutes to get that mixed up into a wad of dough. So now all we're going to be doing is pulling off chunks of it and breaking it into the size that we need for the tortillas for our meal. And you can make these as large or as small as you like. We like about a medium size. We don't do giant. But if you like them bigger, leave it bigger. Just know that you will need to make sure and have enough parchment paper to spread it out on. Of course, you can always get a tortilla press as well that would probably be something that we're going to invest in maybe down the line. All right, so we're just dampening the hands to help handle the dough. This is just mostly so it doesn't end up sticking to your hands as you're kind of working with it. And it'll dry out here on the yeah. counter. So we're just kind of keeping some moisture in there. pre-flattening it a little, little bit of water on it now we're just gonna lay it in the middle of the parchment paper press it out slightly okay 
Okay, so there's our full-size tortilla. Now this recipe, the one cup to one cup, makes a roughly four tortillas. Um, and yeah, they're roughly six inches. So if you want them larger than this, then you're going to want to double the recipe. If you want them smaller than that, then you could break them into eight um, and have like little taco sliders, I guess you could say. Okay, friends, so roughly seven minutes, not counting the fact that I was explaining things to you and we have our homemade tortillas all ready for our meat. And really the tortilla is just here. It's a vehicle. Remember, this is a vehicle to get all the yummy meat and guacamole and everything else into your mouth. So don't overcomplicate it and don't over overthink things like tortillas because it's way less expensive to do it at home and it's super, super simple. Okay, so basically while the fajita meat is frying, we were just working on tortillas. So it didn't take any extra time or really much effort to do it here. So I would encourage you, if you aren't making things at home to try and do that, just to help save a few dollars, if anything. And you'll be surprised at how much better it tastes, I might add. So I'm gonna go on ahead and sign off on this video and I will, as I said, link the video at the end for the Mexican pulled pork. And don't forget that our Digging Deep guide is active. And I will put a direct link down below. Like we have only nine Tuesdays until spring. So guys, the planting season is just around the corner. So if you are looking for someone to help you on your garden journey, I'm here for you and that's why I made that guide. So go on ahead and grab it down below. It's under $20. So check it out for yourself. As always, keep it simple, natural, and essential, and we will see you on the next video. Bye.